one of the differentiating factors about Imara is that we were all the old Fleming's businesses in Africa, obviously in the 90s. And for one reason or another, and we don't need to go into that detail, management obviously bought the businesses that JP Morgan didn't want and created Imara and listed and so on, and then acquired this firm in South Africa. So our roots are very much being in sub-Saharan Africa for a number of years, but we started life as a, as a number of local brokers, which is completely the opposite to all of our competitors. They really started life as a brokerage in the center, as it were, and then have built out firms as they've gone. One of the big challenges we've had and was still around when I joined the firm was how to bring those businesses together to make Imara one coherent sort of face towards the global investing market as regards Africa. So two years ago, we embarked on that program um, whereby we are starting to centralize our research, um, how it's done and the distribution. It doesn't mean that we don't do it on the ground. We do. But there is a think tank in the center, if you will, that makes sure that that gets out to clients in a coherent fashion rather than each territory looking after itself, which is what used to happen. Um, in doing that, we've obviously created a central trading platform for execution and settlement across all of Africa's markets. Again, it's not a unique thing, but there are very few of us who've done it the way that we've done it, um, where we are single counterparty and in legal terms um, for compliance departments in all of these funds and so on. That's a really important issue from a risk perspective. So we like to think we've done, we've done the setup as the world would like to see it in this very highly regulated regime globally going forward. In that, what we've created is a very easy platform for any investor across the globe, whether you be retail or whether you be institutional or even corporate, for a, a gateway into how to access all of those markets um, with the security of tenure in dealing with a firm that is properly regulated by the FSB via the JSC and we use all the global best practice in terms of custody and all of those kinds of issues. So um, we've now created that and we're now sort of waiting for the world to wake up to it. The big investment banks globally have done this years ago. Um, the thing is that they don't do the, the work on the ground as it will, as you will. They can trade and they can do all these things in these markets, but generating of research product and actual contact on the ground is something that's limited in the big investment banks. So all we're doing is trying to occupy a niche where the big investment banks aren't and where obviously other like-sized firms haven't gone either because they fear to or because they just don't understand it.